Hello guys, how are you all? This is your beloved KP Sar, Krishna Prakash. So for AP students, one of the notifications of Chinai, Polytechnic Lecturers and also Assistant Environmental Engineers. Already I have done Assistant Environmental Engineering video. Old syllabus, revised syllabus, scheme and pattern, two videos released already. So now polytechnic lecturer jobs, what is the syllabus, how to plan, what is the strategy and how to apply, what are the posts available, number of posts, detailed analysis today we will do. So in this regard, <coughs> so I would like to say for an engineering student, for a civil engineering student, if you need a base, uh, what we can say, cool and calm job without any tension, without any pressures from the government, higher officials, without any kind of extra burden and load, the coolest, easiest and simplest job is polytechnic lecturer, government polytechnic lecturer. Because basic pay, allowances, salary and everything similar to assistant executive engineer AWR -E AE, nearly pay levels will be same like with respect to AWR. -E. And you are having a good respect among students and you don't have any pressure or tension because if it is AE, AWE, they have a lot of struggle. There are pressures from the higher departments. There is no time commitment. So there are no time limits for the work also for AE, AWE. But for polytechnic lecturer, it is a time bound job. Obviously, it is a time morning 9 to evening 5 o'clock. <laughs> And there is no lot of pressure, only teaching will be there. And you are a government polytechnic lecturer. So that a peaceful life, but don't expect side income or XYZ income. So you, you have an official income, which is given by the government. So the most cool, calm and simplest job, peaceful life will be there for polytechnic lecturers. So before going to talk regarding the details, regarding the notification information and also strategy, what to prepare more, how to focus more, everything before going to that a small announcement. So in an academy, obviously some students may know, some students may not know. In an academy, we have launched a new goal, SSC, JE, State, AE, AA exams, exclusive South students goal, where we teach only in English, no Hindi words, simple language. We simplify the complicated concepts, we make it very simplified and we explain in such a ease of language where a layman, common man also can understand our language. <clears throat> and it is exclusively for southern states, south states, AP, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Orissa, West Bengal, Karnataka, Kerala. So for all state AE questions are covered. All SSC, JE, PYQs are covered. New practice questions also provided. So we can include even GATE and ESC PYQs which are expected to come in SSC, JE and state AEAA also in this course. It is a very crispy course where we can't take so many number of hours, we can't give you PhD content. Exactly what is needed. At the same time, we are not taking very less number of hours also. Exactly what is needed. Like we give environmental engineering 60 hours, transportation 60 hours, geotechnical 70 hours, surveying 45 hours, building materials around 80 to 100 hours. Like that every subject based on the weightage, based on the importance exactly needed with respect to state AEAA SSCJE content model we are providing. And in this course, especially the most experienced teachers, myself, RP sir, Amit Vijay sir. We are going to handle because we know what to study, what not to study. So there is a in Republic Day offer, flat 25 percent, best content for very, very, very less price you are going to get. So use our universal code KP Civil, come under my personal guidance. So most of our students cracked state exams, SSC JE, JKPSC, <coughs> APSC. So you have seen recent videos also few of our students have given feedback. <laughs> So I'm going to launch new subject building material. So I'm going to start this on this January 31st, 11 a.m. So building materials is the most important subject without which we can't crack any state exams. We can't crack SSCJE. 
that many number of questions are there <laughs> now coming back to our notification lecturers in government polytechnic colleges lecturers in government polytechnic colleges engineering and non engineering background both are there technical education limited recruitment <coughs> application start date is there application start date 29th january 2024 today only okay then end date is 18 february 2024 so around 19 days is there to finish 19 20 days is there to finish your application <laughs> go through this website psc.ap.gov.in psc.ap.gov.in go through it, that website <coughs> first what you want to do first you have to do one time registration one time registration is mandatory but that is not enough please understand one time registration is you are creating your profile in appsc website so you create your credentials your name details date of birth <coughs> all the information provided mail id mobile number your profile details everything you fill then you can get a message to the mobile verify your mobile you can get a message in your mail verify your mobile uh, mail so email verification mobile verification both will be completed your profile is registered in appsc website then using that login id user id and password then you enter into appsc website then apply for this specific post so you may apply for group 1 group 2 group 3 you may apply for polytechnic lecturer assistant environmental engineer in future ae aa e that single profile is enough so basically a new student can do one time profile registration that one time profile registration will be done in psc.ap.gov.in website mobile verification mail id verification to be done your profile registration is completed after that you select this post and you go and apply for this post remember profile registration not meant that you are applying for the post profile registration is like a you are creating your profile in the website like you are creating a mail id in gmail google like that after profile registration you have to apply for the post by paying the fees and filling the details <laughs> so there are 99 vacancies 99 polytechnic lecturer vacancies with a pay scale of 56100 to 98400 so 56100 to 98400 it is near to a psu engineer approximately if you crack gate with the top rank and got a psu like iocl hpcl bpcl you are becoming a management trainee nearly same package they are also getting which is equal to near to the same package of a guested officer rank or aa e job <clears throat> so good package i told you already na peaceful life with good package with no tension no pressure official income you are getting 56100 to 98400 rupees <laughs> total 99 vacancies are there carry forward vacancies total 99 vacancies are there your age must be 18 to 42 years as on as on 1st july as on 1st july 2023 because this is the date where they decided to give the notification <coughs> so your date of birth must be as on 1st july 2023 above 18 years below 42 years <coughs> there will be age relaxations no doubt there are certain age relaxations are there no doubt so you must focus on this age must be before 1st july 2023 when you can get your certificate and everything we'll discuss <coughs> now so how many jobs total 99 in 99 see architectural total 1 automobile total 8 biomedical 2 commercial and computer practice 12 ceramic technology 1 chemistry 8 <coughs> our job lecturer in civil engineering government polytechnic lecturer in civil engineering how many 
15 15 jobs are there government polytechnic lecturer for civil engineer are 15 jobs is a good number very good number because it is only res restricted to government polytechnic colleges <coughs> so 15 computer science 8 electronic and communication 10 electrical electronics 2 electronics instrumentation 1 only so civil engineering 15 english 4 garment technology 1 geology 1 math 4 mechanical 6 so when you take most of the branches out of the 99 posts highest number is for civil engineers see this one this is 1 8 2 12 1 8 15 first one who is dominating always i told this na why students want to select civil engineering btech students are selecting civil engineering btech because government job is more for civil engineers sarkari naukari government jobs are high for civil engineer again it is proven na 15 jobs out of 99 when compared with all other branches don't compare 15 is very less number <coughs> and this out of that 15 in civil engineering zone wise zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 what is this zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 we'll talk so zone 1 srikakulam vijayanagaram vishakapatna zone 2 east godavari west godavari krishna zone 3 guntur prakasam nellur zone 4 chittur kadapa anantapur karnul so this zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 <coughs> zone wise again category wise so out of 15 out of 15 zone wise category wise zone 2 sorry zone 1 one post zone 2 one post zone 3 three posts <coughs> zone 4 uh, one minute one minute i hope we are missing something yeah zone 1 total 1 zone 2 total 1 zone 3 total 3 total 3 zone 4 general 4 general 4 is divided into 3 and 1 general total are 4 divided into 3 and 1 local zones local <coughs> general category then total number of posts are divided 15 posts are divided here see open zone open zone 4 and 1 general and women category general and women category general 4 women category 1 local zone means exclusively local posts are there depending upon the zone to zone if you belong to zone 1 you can compete with zone 1 post only if you belong to zone 2 you compete with zone 2 only if you belong to zone 3 compete with zone 3 only like that you can give how many total 10 are there and the remaining 5 are open category any zone any student any state also that 5 is open to all but 10 restricted to local zone wise understand means zone 1 students are having one post only zone 1 can compete for this one post at the same time this zone 1 students can compete for the open category 5 posts also same like that zone 2 students have one post they can compete at the same time they can compete for the open category 5 posts they have a open competition with other state students also other zone students also girls sc st bc open category open to all so this is zone wise division <coughs> so what you need first class bachelor's degree in appropriate branch of engineering and technology if you are applying for civil engineering you must complete your btech civil engineering btech civil engineering before the notification date notification date before you have to finish what is notification date already i told you notification date so before notification date you have to finish your engineering degree there is a relaxation for scst candidates five percent means they are having 55 percent they can apply but remaining students first class engineering degree required for remaining so there are two tests main written examination is done first after you completed main primary written examination successfully then shortlisted candidates will be called up for computer proficiency test 
after that computer proficiency if you are eligible only job is given so there are two phases i told i told very clearly first is examination written examination written examination two papers we will discuss detailedly after written examination successfully completed you are shortlisted then go for computer proficiency then computer proficiency also to be successfully completed then only you can get the job so age already i told 18 to 42 years before july 1st 2023 age relaxation bc and dws 5 years sc st pbd 10 years remaining all different 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 relaxations flexibilities are there <coughs> fees fees is as it is like same environmental engineer post same 250 rupees for all candidates as a application fees 120 rupees as a exam fees for sc st bc pbd and ex servicemen only 120 there is exemption from 250 rupees they can pay sorry they are exempted from 120 rupees they can pay 250 rupees exam fees is exempted they can pay 250 rupees sc st bc pbd and ex servicemen other state students have to pay both see here other state students have to pay both 250 rupees and 120 rupees uh, along with the processing fees both will be paid so now pattern of exam so general studies and mental ability 150 questions 150 marks 150 minutes 150 questions each question one mark duration 150 minutes total 150 marks <coughs> Concerned subject, belonging to civil, you write civil paper, belonging to mechanical, you write mechanical paper, belonging to chemistry, you write chemistry paper, your respective concerned paper, 150 questions, each question 2 marks, 150 minutes, duration is 150 minutes, marks are 300, means there are 2 paper, paper 1, 150 questions, 150 marks, each question 1 mark, Paper 2, 150 question, each question 2 marks, 300 marks total. Then, there is a negative marking, one third, one third negative marking of total marks. For example, for one mark question, you have a negative marking if you opt wrong, you have given wrong answer, one third of one mark, 0 0.33. For a two marks question, if you have written, wrong answer 2 into 1 third we can say approximately 0 0.666 0 0.66 marks as a negative marking so guesswork luck trial hit or trial head or, tr head or <coughs> trial not possible only if you know the concept you can give the answer if you don't know the concept if you give the answer nothing happened so please do focus on learning concept understanding concept hitting the target well don't focus on luck only hard work hits the target because a negative marking is there negative marking will take away your possibility of hitting the success so don't go away from the success by negative marking so general studies mental ability most of appsc papers have the same general studies you may write any engineering position jobs, AE, AWE, assistant executive engineer, uh, assistant environmental engineer. Uh, you may write any group 2, group 1 also. General studies is common. Current affairs first, then general science and technology, then history, geography, polity, economy. So first five, current, current affairs, then <coughs> science and technology, history, geography polity first five then economy sustainable development disaster management and mitigation logical reasoning analytical ability data analysis total <coughs> 10 different chapters hope most of the cases questions will be little bit uniformly distributed not exactly accurately little bit uniformly distributed so better you can focus more on polity economy geography then reasoning and aptitude model questions 
so that you can understand your understanding and level of preparation will be very good so remember getting cut off in both papers is important you are getting full marks in technical and not getting any cut off in the gs no getting full to full marks in one paper and not getting another paper it is not at all eligible you have to get cut off in both papers cut off to be cleared in both paper 1 and paper 2 then only you may be considered for shortlisting okay so give equal priority to gs as well as a technical paper <coughs> now civil engineering syllabus analysis of structures if you see syllabus stresses in beams deflection and slope of beams in double integration mechalas calculation statically determinate indeterminate flexibility so this analysis of structures they have written na this includes uh, what and what subject in our general general talking engineering mechanics strength of material structural analysis <clears throat> simply they have given analysis of structures which include all the three combinedly engineering mechanics strength of material structural analysis three subjects but more focus on you can get more focus on strength of material you are focus because most of the questions from strength of material and when coming back to structural analysis focus on <clears throat> analysis of statically indeterminate beams statically indeterminate beams flexibility and stiffness method kenis method buckling focus on this more please do focus on this more strength of material full don't leave anything structural analysis you can focus more on statically indeterminate beams kenis method buckling slope deflection method you have more questions coming to structural design so here it is nothing but structural design is nothing but rcc and steel which included psc also pre stressed concrete also rcc steel and pre stressed concrete so here code very very important for you at least you have three questions from code code book rcc code is456 steel code psc code those are very very important for you learning basics of code learning standard values and learning the rules and regulation from the code that is codes will play big role here in rcc and steel now coming to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines see when we see the syllabus fluid properties statics fluid flow concepts so when you take our notes of fm so this is entirely covered this part 1 part 2 when you take our full course plus course of fluid mechanics this is covered plus course of fluid mechanics this is covered then flow measuring devices measurement of discharge venturi meter orifice meter notches wares this is we studied under open channel flow last part we have covered in the last part of open channel flow and this is hm separate subject hydraulic machinery we'll discuss it means basic open channel flow not given here what is basic open channel flow critical energy concept specific energy concept hydraulic jump surges uh, gradually varied flow those are not given as of now maybe in some subject they have added but here they have given only flow measurement devices from ocf full complete fluid mechanics just follow our notes full length notes solve previous year questions of ae aa that is enough more than enough you can solve each and every question <laughs> now see in water resources engineering they included study flow through open channel uniform flow of channels changes manning's specific energy critical depth hydraulic jump momentum equation of hydraulic jump this is about open channel flow under water resource engineering they mentioned about open channel flow and this completely about hydrology see there is no portion of irrigation all the syllabus is about hydrology only open channel flow and hydrology no information regarding irrigation under water resource engineering heading they have given 
ఓన్లీ ఓపెన్ ఛానల్ ఫ్లో హైడ్రాలజీ సో సర్వేయింగ్ సో హియర్ ఎంటైర్ సిలబస్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లైక్ గేట్ సిలబస్ దే పుట్ ఫర్ సర్వే బట్ యూ ఫోకస్ మోర్ ఆన్ బేసిక్ అండ్ జనరల్ సర్వేయింగ్ నాట్ మోర్ ఆన్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ సర్వేయింగ్ అన్నెసరీ డోంట్ వేస్ట్ యువర్ టైమ్ ఆన్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ సర్వేయింగ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ కమింగ్ మోర్ సో కమింగ్ టు జియోటెక్నికల్ physical properties soil identification classification compaction permeability seepage full syllabus as it is same transportation also everything given geotechnical and transportation full syllabus whatever we study for gate esc ssc je state ae as it is no no changes nothing here <coughs> coming back to environmental water supply waste water air pollutants sewage everything so in this they have not mentioned about solid waste management i don't know why but nothing nowhere we are finding about solid waste but maybe there is a chance one question they may ask even though it is not in the syllabus remaining is as it is our notes you just follow our notes each and every question will come from our notes don't take more tension so if you want to focus on what more and what not more so my suggestion because based on ease of preparation easy to understand the concepts and based on the questions and you are able to answer please understand out of 150 nobody is trying to hit out of 150 out of 150 so based on that so by studying small content you can get easy to answer questions based on that we can differentiate subjects here so most of the questions are from fmsm i am not saying this is easy okay but we expect more questions from fm and som i am not saying it is easy it may be difficult but you have a lot of pyqs actually for fm and sm for ap psc students andhra students they have n number of previous year questions through ap psc ssc je for each chapter there are around 200 questions so you can solve that is more than enough to get a polytechnic lecturers fmsm questions then you can go ahead with gte double e te and survey gte double e te and survey so i am giving order first what is to be preferred next to what is to be preferred gte double e te and survey then to be preferred next second after these are completed then you go for <coughs> structural analysis rcc water resources engineering steel and psc so this is the order to be preferred so otherwise generally students will take directly som completed i can go with structural analysis studying a lot rcc studying a lot finally exam in the exam you are going to forget the concept instead of it first focus on easily remembering concepts theoretical concepts because you have, you don't have that much time you have one one minute only to answer one question it is very tough to answer in one minute the questions of sc rcc steel and psc so that you can take water resources easy you can give in one minute no problem but this structural subjects it will take more time so first focus on high weightage fmsm then easy subject geotechnical environmental transportation survey double re after that remaining structural subjects you can plan within this 3 months maximum you have 2 and 1/2 months time for preparation you can plan along with parallelly along with your general studies so your technical subject preparation must not affect general studies for example you are preparing for 10 hours give 6 hours for general uh, technical subject 4 hours for general studies and at the same time we focus more on syllabus completion so along with syllabus completion you give equal priority for revision online test last time the students who have wrote appsc ae exams they said that the problem is a time management if 6 hours is given they can solve each and every question but in 3 hours they are unable to solve that a time management you can get if you are capable of writing online test writing more and more and more number of tests will make you fit for writing the exam in 3 hours given time 150 minutes so that easily you can crack the exam so syllabus completion how much is important the same weightage 
revision of completed subject writing online test series for the completed subject also that much important for us so give equal priority for both syllabus completion revision and online test at the same time for general studies also so guys after you completed shortlisted means you have written paper 1 paper 2 general studies technical paper you cracked it you got the best marks then you are shortlisted then you have a computer proficiency test 60 minute duration for 100 marks at least minimum you have to get for SCST 30 marks BC 35 OC 40 <laughs> then the computer basic test consists of MCQ objective of 20% of total marks means out of 100 marks you are having MCQs for 20 marks you are having MCQs for 20 marks out of total 100 then you are having a practical test for word or document preparation inserting images 15% 15, 15 marks preparing excel sheet 20 marks powerpoint means you must have the knowledge of MS Word you must have the knowledge to insert images pictures and videos you must have knowledge of MS Excel you must have knowledge of PowerPoint. Basic, this is, as an engineer, it is very easy for us. Even after shortlisting also, you can learn this very easily. Don't worry too much regarding this. Okay. So, your focus is how to crack this polytechnic lecturer job. Remember, we answer in our mind, we are thinking all this. I, I know your questions. Number of jobs are less, 15. So many students are preparing from several number of years and also you are having only two and a half months time duration. How to cover the syllabus? How to cover general studies? How to write online test? How to revise? Remember, this many questions, each and every student who applied for this job, they are also having. Everyone is in your state of mind only. So that 15 members who worked hard Removing all these things from the mind, those 15 members who worked hard, tried hard to achieve success, without doubting themselves, believe yourself. Believing yourself is the key to success. Believe yourself and crack the exam. So guys, we are having an offer, flat 25% off, Republic Day offer. And we are launching new batch. Building materials is the subject going to start by me which is going to helpful for your SSC, JE, State, AE, AEEE. At least 10 questions you are having from building material. So we are launching that course. And you know, always your KPs are try to give you best and even more than best. And always try to guide you in a right path. So here we are going to provide you how we worked hard for GATE and ESC. More than that, we are working hard for State, AE, AEEE and SSC, JE. So do spread this information. KPSR and RPSR are teaching on SSE, JE and State AE category. Do join our courses. Simple English language courses for you. Exclusively for you. Okay guys. I hope you are going to achieve your dreams with your beloved KPSR. Let's crack it guys.